it. Dasher, you're going to take the lead. Ready? I'll do it. Uh, Coach, I guess this was one if uh, it had kind of slipped away from you. Might not be in a very good good mood today, but, but Connor, like it in that Clemson game a couple years ago, came through with a big hit for you to win it. Yeah, I was kind of envisioning that. They had a big six hole. They had him playing on the line, and and uh, the shortstop was a little bit towards the middle. So I, I said it. I go, I'll take a three-hop ground ball in the six hole right here and envisioning Clemson. But, you know, he, he had kind of scuffled a little bit today. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and Cole had a little bit too. And it was really good to see those last two swings. I mean, Cole hit it right on the nose and then Connor hit that ball right on the nose as well. So good to see those guys come up big when we needed it. It was, uh, it was tough to let it get away, but uh, we, I thought we showed a little bit of fight to, uh, to hang on and win. Um, Jonathan Cannon, again, I again, got exactly what you were hoping for from him today. I know he's on a pitch count, but he's very, very sharp. Yeah, he, he was uh, really good. I thought he was good on Tuesday at Georgia Southern, but, uh, and he was fatigued at Georgia Southern. He was ready to come out after the second today. He wanted to go back out and that was a good sign that, you know, he, he kind of looked at me and he, he's a little bit more, uh, uh, politically correct than Ryan Webb. Webby was kind of <laughs> staring at me and, and Jonathan kind of gave me a little look and a please kind of look, but he wanted to go back out there. If, if we don't have the long layoff with the umpire switch, he might've gone five because the pitch count was really low, but it's the sitting down and getting back up that is, is fatiguing for pitchers. And, uh, but I thought he held his stuff better today and uh, looking forward to getting him back out there next week. I want to ask you real quick about that fourth inning, that uh, ball that Corey Collins hit. They had to had the shift on. Uh, he's looking to go to left, it looked like, and he lines that one, show that oppo power off the top of the wall and left. I mean, just how impressive was that, just number one from a guy like that? Yeah, well, he, he's, uh, he's got power to all fields, and, and it's going to be tough for teams. I, I know they're going to shift on him, but he hits the ball the other way, probably better than anybody we have. So once he starts to learn, I mean, he's a guy that can can guide the ball in different parts of the park and can hit for power that way, too. So uh, at some point, he's going to lay down a bunt. That third baseman starts going over to play shortstop and he can handle the bat. He can lay a bunt down. And once you lay that bunt down like Shaney Rogers did two weekends ago, it's on film. The other teams see it. Now the third baseman's got to respect it. So, you know, Corey will do that at some point. And, and he can do it. He's really good at it. So now the third baseman has to play him honestly, and it makes the shift tough because Corey can hit the ball to all fields. Okay, next we're going to go to Jed May. Yeah, Coach, it, it seems like y'all have won in, you know, just about every single different way, you know, through three or four weeks of the season. How much is it going to help this team, you know, with SEC play coming up next weekend to have a game like this where, you know, you, you're in control all day, you lose the lead in the ninth, and then, you know, you end up coming back and winning a couple innings later? Well, adversity is good. Uh, adversity can help you get better. Uh, certainly is, is it's a lot better when you can get on the winning side of adversity, which we did today. That would have been a tough loss because we had it in control. We had chances to extend the lead. We didn't do it. Uh, we, we made some mistakes uh, that almost came back to bite us. But uh, to have some adversity, to have things not go your way, and, and to also make mistakes, mental mistakes that you can learn from. It's a lot more fun to learn from your mistakes when you still win. And, and that's what we did today. The pitching stuff, you know, I guess that ninth inning aside, you know, they, that was the only inning they gave up a run in this entire, this entire weekend, just with the health now and, and how they're pitching, just how, what can you say about the confidence of those guys, you know, as, as league play comes up? Well, it's awfully nice to, you know, to go out to the mound and, and hit my left arm and Jaden Woods comes out of the bullpen and or hit my right arm and Michael Polk comes out of the bullpen. So having those guys in the pen just extends it, gives us more options, gives us more guys. Benny Harris was great today. That was uh, awesome to see him do that. We're going to need him to be good. And last couple outings, he hasn't been as comfortable, but uh, he was really good today. That, that looked like he was when he was at Georgia State a couple of weeks ago. So Awesome to see Benny get the win right there and, and get the job done. Thanks, Coach. Okay, next we're going to go to Davis Baker. Um, I'm good, Abby. That was actually my question as okay, well. Great. Okay, next we're going to go to Palmer. Yeah, Coach, um, you know, just the uh, presence of the freshmen in your lineup, you know, what does that say about these guys um, as you head into SEC play and, and the number of guys that got some experience? Well, all these guys have played. When, when you look at the replacements that we made during that game, I mean, we, we just kept coming. We still had Garrett Blaylock waiting to, to hit in a big spot. So, you know, just the depth that we've been able to build in games like that. And we're going to be in a bunch of games like that when we get into the league that are really tight. You're going to have to make some switches, whether a defensive replacement, a pinch runner, uh, a guy that can bunt, 
a guy that can hit from both sides of the plate. So we've got the depth and we've built that up and, and we feel really good about it. Okay, next we're gonna go to Catherine. Hey coach, um, I just had a quick question about that. Um, the challenge that you had in the fourth inning, I believe it was, your team was obviously upset and um, so you decided to challenge that. So what were your immediate thoughts with that? Um, with You're gonna, there was, there was a few challenges. Remind me, what was the play again? <laughs> The the one where McAllister was thrown out um, in the fourth inning at first base. Yeah, uh, gosh, I'm I'm having a blank right now. I mean, it's just <laughs> it was close play with, with instant replay. I mean, it's it's tough right now to overturn anything because we only have two cameras. When we get into SEC play, we're going to have four and sometimes five cameras. So we're going to say I, I think we're talking about the one when when he, his foot came off the base. Okay, that's. And, and we saw it, and that's the tough thing, that the umpire was blocked from the, the runner or something blocked him from seeing it, but we all saw his foot was well off the base. And the reason why I was upset was because I felt like he should have saw it. And again, he was blocked, but with only two camera angles, you might not capture it on those camera angles. And if you can't see it, you can't overturn it. So that's why I was upset. I, I felt like he missed it. But I was upset. Well, man, we're not going to be we might not be able to overturn it because the cameras might not have found it. Now, with four and five cameras, when we get in the league, we'll we'll, uh, we'll probably catch all of those. But with two cameras, it just makes you a little nervous. That's why I was upset. We have time for another question. Anyone want to take it? I don't want to count anyone out. OK, go Dasher. Yeah, I, I just got something real quick, Coach. On, uh, as far as uh, the depth of this team that you're starting again, I think I might ask you something similar to this the other, the other day, but uh, I think only guys you didn't weren't able to get in today was Blaylock and Spikes. I just kind of speak to that. And they, again, all these options you've got right now in games like this, which you can pretty much punch any buttons that you want to push. Yeah, no, Blaylock was – if they brought in a right-handed pitcher, Blaylock was ready to hit, and Cam Guidry came in to hit in that spot. So guys with experience, you know, with the injuries that we had, with, with Cole Tate being out, McAllister being out, and Buddy being out, Guidry got experience. And now he's a guy you put up there, you put him in a game defensively late, you have confidence in him because he's been in there. So, uh, yeah, we've got a lot of depth all over the field. In the outfield, we had three different left fielders today, uh, and all those guys are starters. They can all play. And, uh, you know, having guys like Jernigan and Stinson that can run off the bench. So it, it's, uh, it, it's fun to be able to make some moves and move some guys around. And we made a double switch today. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, you know, just doing things like that, uh, it, it's nice to be able to do it when you know you have the guys sitting there that, that are ready to go. All right, thank you. Thanks, Coach. That's all. Okay, thanks, guys. Well,